I'm going to tell you about Lichtenberg and his figures. Lichtenberg was an art critic, a naturalist, a satirist, an aphorist. He lived in the 18th century and he was one of the creators. He was the creator of German experimental physics. Now, in the town of Göttingen, it was a warm summer's day in uh, the end of the 18th century, and a company of young men had gone outside. And it was really hot, and it was hot enough for them to take their shirts off. And one of the boys looked at another of the boys and said, look, what are those shapes you have on the back? And all the boys went and they looked at the back of their friend. It looked like a tree, scars, and said, what is this? And the boy who had the shapes on his back said, I was hit by lightning once. I nearly died. My, my, my veins were nearly burst, but I survived. And these scars were left on my skin afterwards. The doctors said that they would, they would fade, but they haven't, obviously. And one of the boys looked at it closer and said, these are Lichtenberg figures. Lichtenberg, what? said the boys. Don't you know this great scientist who is in the university, he conducts experiments with electricity and a lot of people go to see them because he makes them public and sometimes there are big bangs and flashes of lightning. Shall we go and see him? These, these shapes, he creates them on a piece of resin and so they all went to see the next public experiment of Lichtenberg at the university. He was demonstrating the electrophorus. The electrophorus is the, proto the prototype of the electrostatic machine, first developed by Wilk, but made famous by Alessandro Volta. It consists of two iron plates, and inside there is a resin cake. The boys watched as Lichtenberg climbed up to his platform to demonstrate his machine. And Lichtenberg said, we have an iron plate which is isolated and on that we put a cake of resin. The second part of the electrophorus is another iron plate with a handle. To make it work, I have, it has to be chafed. I use for this my cat and he took the plate with the resin and he rubbed it on the cat and he put it again in the plate. Then he put the other plate on top of that, he grounded it, he touched it, so it was grounded through the man himself and then he lifted it and there were sparks forming. Lichtenberg demonstrated how these sparks would be formed again and again. And that was the electrophorus. But Lichtenberg said that to find something new, you have to search for something new and create something new. He was very interested in the electrophorus, so he made a lot of them. He made very big ones. And as he was experimenting in, in his laboratory, there was a lot of dust floating around in his laboratory. He noticed that on the resin, shapes were made. These were the Lichtenberg figures, the same as the boy had on his back. He noticed that they were different with positive and negative charges. They made different shapes. Lichtenberg experimented a lot with electricity. He managed to capture electricity to capture the lightning, is what he said, in a laden jar. Also, he studied the fish in the sea that kill each other with thunder, as he said. It was the electric eel. The 18th century was a time of great experiments, experiments that sometimes seemed as if people were playing with lightning and electricity and fire.